So I've been at SDSU 19 years, and in that time, I think I would most treasure the time spent in potlucks or office lunches or just going out to lunch with a coworker because it's really that connection with both your team as well as those individuals across campus that you work closely with on a day-in, day-out basis that really makes SDSU what it is. And those are the connections and the memories that I'm going to treasure. One of my favorite anecdotes is when I was, uh, when I was in Dallas and I was president of the National Association of College Stores. Uh, I was the incoming president. I got on stage in a general session at 4 p.m. on March 8, 2014. So when I got up on stage, uh, and gave my speech uh, as the new president and at the end of the speech and said, oh yeah, and SDSU is going to annihilate the University of New Mexico tonight in our basketball game for the regular season championship. Prior to that night, gotten shirts that said SDSU greater than UNM and everybody from SDSU, including members of my family, were wearing these t-shirts. So when people from UNM walked in, they saw us on these t-shirts we were really not doing well. We were behind by 16 points with 12 minutes to go. I'm sinking in my chair. Everybody from New Mexico is like, ah, Todd, you guys are terrible. SDSU is going to lose. And then Fish switches to his famous 1-3-1 defense for that game. And we just go on a run and win 51-48. to well, So the following year, I'm on stage. And I just reminded Melanie and everybody else that yes, SDSU did win, as I predicted. I think uh, when I look back at some favorite memories, it's taking first place in um, the uh, field day and, and snatching the gold from Team Risky Business on uh, many seasons. Um, winning first in the chili cook-off uh, for UPD uh, against facilities and, and snatching the gold uh, one time out of 10 years there. Uh, so the, there's those memories. But I think when I look back on a whole, as everything that BFA does to support SDSU and the overall mission is really the individual stories that you hear from students who you now, uh, from our past, look back and you see them in the news as business leaders or CSOs or heading up nonprofits. And it really helps frame everything that we're doing behind the scenes as BFA. Uh, into something that's very powerful that you see in real life, in true action, and you sit back and you think, I was a part of that student's journey uh, along the way. And getting calls from students who um, reach out to you and say that along the way, uh, along the, their journey within SDSU, that um, UPD and BFA to a large degree uh, contributed to their success. I've been at SDSU since 2006, um, but I think one of my favorite moments is a lot more recent. Um, our provost decided that we needed to have a freshman guarantee of housing for our students. Um, we were, our president wanted to add an additional 400 new freshmen per year, and we were really quickly coming up on a kind of a capacity crunch for student housing. And at the same time, we were worried about the growing discrepancy between students in the residence halls and students who don't academically, student retention performance, et cetera. And one of the um, factoids that jumped out at me, we figured out we had over 10,000 students living within a half mile of the center of campus, and you couldn't buy a tomato. You could not buy a head of lettuce or a tomato or a pound of hamburger in that. Um, location. And so we took those two problems, shortage of student housing and the inability to buy groceries, and we built the first student residence hall in Southern California with a Trader Joe's underneath it, which I thought that was pretty cool. It just kind of shows what San Diego State and BFA can do when we choose to. Well, having been a student at SDSU and graduating 20 years ago, um, it has been a long journey that I have had here at SDSU, and there's so many memories I could share um, from when I was a student, from going to football games, to living on campus, uh, to working on campus as a student. Um, 
I think through all of that and through all of my time as a staff member here at SDSU um, and in most recently in BFA um, has just really been the camaraderie and the vision that everybody has um, for SDSU and is this shared vision, the shared goal that everyone wants the university to do well, to be better, and really to serve our students so that our students can do well and go on to achieve their dreams. So I think that collective vision has never changed from the time I was a student. I felt it from all the people that I was around, from my professors and all of those you know, staff members I interacted with as a student, to now when I'm one of those staff members. It really is that shared collective um, vision that we um, are all hoping to help advance our students and make sure that they achieve their goals. I came to San Diego State in 2006, um, having never worked in higher ed, and I can't imagine working anywhere else. It's it, my last 15 years here have been filled with so much fun and camaraderie and being able to work with our students has been just life-changing. Um, it's, it's been a wonderful experience and I love it. Really, it's been our time that we come together and we connect. Um, so with my previous teams, we've had um, various holiday get-togethers or what have you, and bringing uh, us together and really seeing us beyond our position descriptions is one of the best parts of it. Um, understanding each other's families, kids, their, their hopes, their dreams, and their challenges and, and frustrations um, has really been uh, something that's been great. Uh, before I started at SDSU, I was not a big sports fan. Uh, but in my second week on the job, I was invited to go to a uh, men basketball game at the uh, VA Haas. SDSU played uh, New Mexico State, and that game it was a real roller coaster ride. Uh, all the fans were on our on the edge of our seat, uh, screaming, chanting, uh, cheering on for our team. So that was quite an experience. Um, I don't think I'll ever forget the feeling that, you know, that instant bonding with like 10,000 strangers in the in the arena. And uh, we all, and, and the strong sense that we are all in this together, rooting for our team. So in the end, Aztec won and cinched the uh, championship title for that season. So that was really great. And it's a really great way to introduce a newbie to uh, SDSU. Um, it also gave me a glimpse of uh, a, a special place that SDSU plays in our community. So our impacts are way beyond our campus and go very deep into our community in San Diego. Most appreciated about our BFA employees is that they are the, the front lines of many of the activities here. I like football and many times I associate them with the offensive line. Um, don't always get all the glory that the, the running backs and, and quarterbacks and everyone else gets, um, which are our faculty and students and others. But without the offensive line, the rest of the team can't win. And so our um, BFA colleagues are definitely the, the O-line. So I appreciate both the individual and the collective efforts of our BFA team, um, largely behind the scenes and often unnoticed. Um, our team does a great job of making sure our students, faculty, and staff have what they need um, to support the campus and the both teaching and research missions that are involved with being part of SDSU. Um, I appreciate that they're always there and responsive when I send out emails or make phone calls. Um, it's that dedicated support that the BFA team provides that I truly appreciate. And as much as I love SDSU, I think what I love most about SDSU is being a part of the BFA team. All the collaboration with all the employees, you know, with BFA and Aztec Shops and everybody else on campus, there's such great people that work across campus. Um, we've got close to a thousand employees, you know, at Aztec Shops. It'll be over a thousand once the stadium opens. Um, everybody really, you know, holds on to the mission of the campus and really supports the students and everything they're trying to accomplish. Uh, and one of the most exciting things for me is when we have a graduating student who is a part-time worker for us and an entry-level position opens up and we're able to move that student into a full-time role and have that be their first full-time job and give them that opportunity and then see them 
grow and thrive uh, in that role is just really just incredible. General sense, uh, BFAs are the true heroes of the university. By that, I mean it's all of the behind the scenes work that rarely gets recognized. So although BFA is not the forward facing uh, success stories that we see, we built the foundation in order for that to happen. That every employee does in their own respective uh, place within BFA, keeping facilities clean, like I said, keeping the lights on, keeping the place safe, keeping things moving. Without all of that, nothing else would be attainable. We really are the true foundation. And sometimes because of all of the work that happens within BFA, people forget that. So it's times like these, it's a really great opportunity to, to remind and reframe what we're doing and why we're doing it. I am always impressed by what my colleagues at BFA do to make the university work without really getting credit for it. But Eric Hansen has used the phrase, we're kind of like the offensive line of the team. You're not going to have those students in the classrooms. You're not going to have the investigators and the laboratories if we don't get the lights turned on, if we don't keep the facilities maintained, if we don't renovate them appropriate to their needs. And we all we do all that without getting caught up on who gets credit for it. I just think that's pretty great. I think the thing I most appreciate about the BFA employees is everyone's attention to detail and willingness to help everybody, each other out and everyone out. So there's no, um, everyone has their roles, everyone has their responsibilities, but I really feel like everybody wants to be able to help each other and support each other and um, really make sure that as a group that we're successful. What I most appreciate about our employees within our division is the problem solving mentality. What we do is in many ways different than teaching and classroom teaching and direct student support, but it's so important that we remove all of the obstacles for our faculty, our students, and the rest of our staff members so that they can focus on that direct student support. And the interesting thing is, is I think a lot of times we don't realize the direct impact that we actually have on our students, but I hear about it every day. If there's one thing that I wish for our division is I wish that everyone got the chance to hear from our students and faculty and staff directly how much our work impacts their work positively. Um, and I, it doesn't happen enough, um, but when it does happen, it definitely brings a smile to my face. And I try and pass along those messages as much as possible because it, we do have a real impact on our campus and we can't forget that. I have the good fortune uh, working with a very talented, committed, and hardworking senior staff at BFA. They're truly the best, and, and they're very much part of the reasons why I love my job at SDSU. We also have equally committed, uh, talented, and hardworking staff across BFA. Um, they really truly are unsung heroes. I want to take actually this opportunity to thank all of our BFA staff for the work that they've done, especially those essential employees that they were here during the pandemic, keeping our campus safe and healthy. Um, we really appreciate everything you've done and we really value you. As it relates to past accomplishments, I'll speak to the pandemic, I think. The BFA team and the campus really came together during a time of chaos and uncertainty and supported our students, our faculty, and our staff in the best way possible. Um, and that just showed that we do have a resilient and dedicated team um, and campus community that was able to come together and make things happen. In 2009, there was like so much buzz on campus. It started with a, a truck rolling up to the bookstore, Mac Cosmetics. And we had done a deal with Mac Cosmetics to be the first and only college 
store in the entire country to have a full service MAC cosmetics counter in the store with their employees um, for the students. And it just was so exciting. Twitter just blew up. Uh, one student, you know, wrote that I can't believe there's a fashion area in the bookstore and there's MAC cosmetics. I freaking love my new school. Um, and, and that's what the buzz was. Unfortunately, 2009, even though the sales were pretty good, we didn't hit the targets that they wanted uh, and they pulled out. But for three years, that was really, really exciting. There was a lot of buzz. Looking back on the past, I think I would point to uh, our community policing efforts during my time as chief and what Chief Hastings is, is furthering, uh, that holistic approach to policing. Uh, at the end of the day, our goal is to be a part of the community, not just a response to it. So that holistic policing model is incorporating mental health clinicians and social workers within UPD. It really is a true honor to be a part of uh, something almost on a daily basis where you can improve somebody's life, whether it's longer term or it's just an isolated incident. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an honor to be able to lead an organization that really does that multiple times a day uh, for our community. I think of our student union. I can remember when this campus struggled with what it was going to be physically. And so we were trying to decide what the modern space project for the Associated Students Campus Center would be. And we were able to work closely with student leaders and associated students. We were able to take what was a very, very simple project to build meeting space and meeting rooms and an activity space and turn it into a new front door and a new icon of San Diego State with the new Aztec Center. I just thought that was a great example of taking a problem statement and turning it into an opportunity to make people look at the university in a different way. I just, I, I think that's really exciting. My team within the administration subdivision, we work together well, we work hard, we laugh together, and we help to develop each other. And I think I always hope that I can teach the people within my division ways to, to be better at what they're doing, but I learn as much from my team as hopefully they learn from me. I think that the SDSU family is strong and I love that my team has that family feeling. I think what I'm most proud of is our response to the COVID pandemic. I think there have been so many um, uh, efforts that um, have been behind the scenes that folks uh, did not notice. But without those efforts, we would not have been maintained a safe campus, an operational campus, um, a ca campus that was um, provided success for our students, for our faculty and our staff. In my eight years here, I have really observed that uh, the campus is actually getting better every year by all measures. Um, some examples are our graduation rate is has continues to improve uh, very significantly in the last several years. For fall 2022, we ha actually have now received more than 105,000 applications from students who want to come to SDSU. Um, our research continue to grow with the goal to become a R1 institution in the next few years. Um, we're currently getting ready to go live with the MySDSU student financials, which is really exciting because that's really going to create an enhanced interface with our students and our parents and how they um, receive information about their accounts and how they can move forward with that information and to pay their bills. Um, so that's a really exciting thing that my team's working on now and anticipated to go live next month. We're really excited about you know, all the work that we're currently doing on Snapdragon Stadium, you know, it's just going to look fantastic. Um, there's going to be tons of merchandise available and other products. Uh, so it's, it's going to be really, really neat. And then the food and beverage, you know, we've been working on for over two years. 
So our chefs um, will be responsible for all food and beverage in the stadium. The stuff that we do that is our own concepts and some of the stands that'll be on the concourse and in other areas and everything that'll be in the suites and the clubs. And then we'll actually be um, doing and preparing, preparing all of the food that are in some of our partner brand um, stands as well. So we have partnered with Crack Shack, Taco Stand, Batch and Box, Gaglione Brothers, Best Pizza, Cali Barbecue, Ever Bowl, um, so many good brands. Uh, and we're just really, really excited about the local flavor that we're going to have at the stadium. Looking at what we're doing with Mission Valley right now, is, and BFA took a leadership role in taking advantage of that opportunity and creating a resource that's going to serve this university for generations to come. I think I would cite my new role as an Associate Vice President of Public Safety and Community Empowerment. And that really is taking that holistic policing model and expanding it even further. Uh, that has uh, areas of safety reporting to me, all, all things safety related. The great opportunity we have here is that it's a new office to provide resources, support, and cohesion to our already existing programs and really taking that humanistic approach to policing, to problem solving, to safety related issues, and combining that under my office as a human face to help further some of those problem solving efforts. So SDSU Mission Valley really is this um, new venture that, that we're all in together. And to be able to see that come to reality, to be able to see us go from just having this sort of twinkle in our eye vision to really having, you know, people on the ground doing the work right now and getting ready to really make it into what we all envisioned it to be. It's just so rewarding every day to be able to be a part of that and to know that I have even just a small role in um, making that come, um, come to reality is something that I'm really, really, really proud of. We just started our Center for the Prevention of Harassment and Discrimination, and I'm really excited about the great work that that office is going to be doing. Um, also, I'm just happy to be back on campus. And I know for many people within our division, they never left, um, but they're, the majority of folks across campus did leave. And it's been great to be part of the process of bringing our faculty and staff who did go into remote work, bringing them back onto campus, helping them feel safe and helping them understand that we care about their health um, and also welcoming our students back and supporting our students. It's been a weird, strange two years. And though it's not back to complete normalcy, I'm just excited to be part of the process as we move back to what's going to be the new normal. I think one of the areas that's most exciting to me is our new Office of Energy and Sustainability. Um, this is something that has been elevated uh, for more visibility uh, for the campus, and really we see it as a, an opportunity to provide leadership for the campus in the areas of energy and sustainability. Um, we will be standing on the shoulders of many of our colleagues who have done a lot of this work uh, previously, um, but with this new position and this new office, I believe that it's going to, the future looks bright. Also, in the last several years, the campus has made significant progress uh, to be more diverse and inclusive. Uh, the campus also continued to invest in our future. Uh, Mission Valley and Imperial Valley are very good examples for that. excited about Mission Valley. Um, obviously, it being a really long-term project, um, it's something that previous employees have been a big part of and will continue um, with generations of employees into the future. So I'm really excited to see what SDSU Mission Valley brings to SDSU, but also what it brings to the community in San Diego. Uh, I think the expansion into Mission Valley is a whole project uh, and a accomplishment to point to. Um, so moving forward, I think one of the biggest things that I'm looking forward to is that ability to support that expansion through a holistic policing model with the help of everyone in BFA. I think the strength of the university 
And one of the key strengths of business and financial affairs is we keep ourselves ready to react to opportunities. That's what we've done for a long time here, and I think it's going to leave us really, really ready to go after whatever comes next. One thing that I'm really looking forward to is seeing people attend a game at Snapdragon Stadium. SDSU Mission Valley has been this vision for so long for the collective university and to be able to see people actually be there on the site doing the things that we wanted to be able to do there, attend a football game, go to the river park, live on the site, take the trolley there and have this whole new experience of SDSU in this new location. It's going to be something that's going to be really rewarding. It's Mission Valley. Um, that is going to be a transformative project. And I know it's going to take a number of years, but it's going to be fun to watch it develop. And especially within our division, um, being able to play a small role in helping to make sure that it's a successful project. We are in a very can-do division. Um, there are many challenges that we've um, overcome in the last uh, several years. And all it's really done for me is kind of reaffirm the fact that with our teams together, with a, many smart, committed people, uh, we can actually do a lot of things. Um, and so while I don't have a specific vision of what that might look like, I do know that it'll be successful. I'm very excited about the SDSU Mission Valley development. It will be a very big part of SDSU's future and it will be a game changer. When SDSU Mission Valley is fully built out, it will add another $3 billion uh, to the economic impact of SDSU. Today we are celebrating the 125th anniversary and all the accomplishment that SDSU has made. Um, I cannot think of a better time to be at SDSU and I strongly believe actually the best day of SDSU are still ahead of us.